Welcome to the Southeast Oklahoma Library System's Digital Art Virtual Program. We are going to be drawing this moon forest scene using the app Procreate on the iPad. Along with the iPad, I am using the Apple Pencil. So if you are ready, let's get started. Okay, let's first open up Procreate. Let's create a new canvas. Let's make this canvas 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels. All right, that looks good right there. So let's make sure we are on layer one, which we are. Now let's pick the airbrushing library and now let's pick this soft brush right here and for this first color here I think I want to do a dark a dark purple let's see here yeah, maybe about like that so now what I'm going to do is start filling in this top portion right here. Actually, let's kick up the opacity to 100%. There we go. I'm going to go back and forth here and just fill this all in right here. Now, on the same layer, I'm going to pick a lighter purple. Let's see here. Let's try Let's try maybe Let's try that. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, there we go. Now let's go back to that same purple. I'm going to kind of fill this down a little bit more here. Let's kind of go back and forth here. Now what we want to do is pick our magic wand up here. And let's pick this Gaussian blur effect. And what we're going to do is drag our pencil over the screen here until these colors kind of merge together a little bit. Let's see here. Let's go to, oh, let's do 60%. I think that's all right. So let's turn that off there. Now for this, let's add a new layer here. This time I want to pick Let's see, I, I kind of want a, a black. So let's pick about right there, maybe. Now I'm going to go to my calligraphy brushes and click monoline. Now what I'm going to do is draw a square. Hold my finger down on the screen. So it becomes a perfect square. I'm going to let go there. I'm going to pick my selection tool here. And now I can move it around the screen here. Now what I'm going to try to do here is get it right in the center. Maybe about right there. I think that's probably okay. While I'm on the same layer, I'm going to drag that same color and fill it in. So let's go ahead and add a new layer. And with that same color, I'm going to go to my calligraphy library and let's add, let's pick the script. 
brush. And now what I'm going to do is start drawing these branches out from the side of the screen. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of go and I'm just going to color it in here. Another one. Now what I'm gonna do is draw some little branches off the branches we've already created. Let's do the same thing on this other side here. What I'm going to do now is go down here along the bottom and kind of make some grass here that's sticking up. And what I'm going to do is just kind of drag from the bottom of this frame here, kind of, kind of like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to go over here on this side and kind of do the same thing. Now I'm doing this on the same layer. Yeah, that looks okay. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some grass. So what I'm going to do, I want to add this in front of our back layer. So let's hit the plus button right there. Now for the, to make the grass, I'm going to use the painting library and I'm going to use this old brush right here. And I'm going to pick kind of a darker, kind of a dark green since this is a night scene. Let's try that right there and let's see how that looks. So what I'm going to do here is uh, make sure, let's, let's try 20% on our size and for the opacity I'm going to keep that at 100% and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do horizontal uh, swipes of the brush across the screen right here and we'll go from there and see how this looks actually let's undo that let's go for a little darker green sometimes it takes trial and error until we get the right color. Yeah, there we go, that looks a little better. And if you notice, since we are, our layer of grass is underneath the trees, we're not coloring on them. Yeah, let's give that a try. Now what I wanna do is add a new layer which will be in front of the grass there but still behind our trees around the side now we're going to draw some of the background trees and I think for this I want to use not a black black but let's see here let's 
Let's give that a try. And I think for this, I'm gonna go back to my calligraphy brushes and I'm gonna use the script brush again. So, and we're at 100% on the opacity. And I think on this, I'm gonna keep it at about uh, 28%. We'll see how that does. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start right here and I'm just gonna kinda Let's go a little lighter. So to undo, tap uh, two fingers on the screen there. I think I want to go a little lighter here. Now let's give that a try. I think while I work, I'm going to move that layer in front of the trees that way I can see what I'm doing here and you notice that it brings those lines to the the very front here and you can even see it coming up to the top right there and I think what I'm gonna do is color that in here just like that and I think giving it a lighter color makes it more part of the background instead of the forefront. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if we go out there because we're gonna move this layer behind. There we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw some branches off that off this tree here. Kind of like we did on the side. So I'm just going to go, remember this is going to be behind those other trees so they will still be noticeable. Yeah. So let me just see what that looks like when I place it behind everything. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna move it back to the top here by just holding it down and moving it back up there. And then I'm gonna do one on this other side. So I'm gonna put it about right here. And I'm gonna kinda do the same thing. And they don't have to be straight lines. Trees are not straight, so. Yeah, there we go, and I'm gonna kind of fill it in down here just a little bit. Make sure I'm not leaving any areas open. So I'm gonna kind of do some branches off this as well. So what I'm gonna do here is go like that. I'm just gonna end it out of frame here because that'll be behind that black border so that it will be okay. Um, now let's draw some little branches off this one. It's looking pretty good. Let's move this behind our border layer, and let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's looking okay. So what I'm gonna do here is make sure I have a new layer between our grass and the tree. And what I'm gonna do here is pick my luminous brush library and pick the glimmer brush. And I'm gonna make sure that I pick sort of a white color that makes makes it bright. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of go back and forth here. Kind of just like that. There we go. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. So now what I'm going to do 
is behind this layer right here. Actually, we want to go in front of the stars, but behind the tree. So I'm going to add a plus button right there, add a layer right there, and I'm going to pick a really white color. Actually, let's go. There we go. I'm going to go to my calligraphy brushes and click the monoline brush. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a circle. And I think I want to put my moon right here, right in the middle. So let's see here. I'm going to draw my circle. Hold down my finger on the screen. Yeah, that looks good right there. So what I'm going to do is drag that right into there. And I think while I work on it here, I'm going to bring it to the, to the top here. That way I can see what's going on. Uh, let's go back. We're on this layer here, so let's undo that. Let's click our mouse button. That way we can move it around. And I think I want it... about right there so what I'm gonna do here let's move it back down below those trees but in front of the stars yeah that looks pretty good but what I want to do now in order to give this moon a glow effect I'm gonna duplicate this layer go to the bottom layer go to the magic wand click Gaussian blur and what I'm going to do is turn up that effect there by dragging my pencil across the screen. As you can see, around it, uh, the moon, it's starting to have sort of a glow effect. So, let's see here. Let's go. Uh, and just kind of give it to where you think it looks good. I think I'm going to do it about right there. It's nice and bright. So I'm going to uncheck the magic wand. Now I want to put some texture on the moon. So what I want to do here is go to my texture brushes and I want to click on this Curawong brush and I want to go and pick kind of a grayish color. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a layer above the moon right there. Actually, let's do it on this layer. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick Alpha Lock. And what that means is I'll only be able to, to paint on the pixels on that layer. So that will allow me not to be able to color outside of the moon. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm good with that right there. Let's leave it at that. So now what I want to do is kind of give the grass a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna go back to my painting library and I'm gonna pick the old brush again. And I'm good with all the settings there. And I'm gonna pick even a darker green. Let's go, let's go pretty dark here. Maybe like that, let's give that a try there. And I'm gonna make my brush, mm, let's try 15%. And what I'm going to do here is just kind of color vertical lines. So I'm going to go let's kind of low, make our brush about 10% there. I'm going to go even a little darker. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just going to kind of put these in a few different areas here. Yeah, that looks okay. I think what I want to do is clean up the bottom of these trees here. So what I'm going to do is go to layer 5, which is the layer of these trees in the back here. Let's click on our eraser tool. Let's go to the artistic brush library and let's pick this hearts brush. And that's, I'm gonna kinda, there we go, kinda, let's make it a little smaller here. 
actually. Let's go even a little smaller. And what that'll do is kind of fade it in there with the grass. Alrighty. So I think I actually want to put some grass in front of the tree though. So let's go to our tree, or actually let's go to our grass layer. And let's go back to our old brush. The settings are good. And I'm gonna pick that dark green again. And let's see how that looks. And I'm gonna kinda of just kind of right there in front. All right, now what we want to do is add a glow from the moon onto the ground. So I think what I want to do here is, let's go into our layers right here. And I think what I want to do is, let's add a layer on top of our top layer. Let's pick our painting library and let's click on our old brush. Now I want to pick something, let's pick this white right here. Um, so I think what I want to do now is let's just go make horizontal lines here on the bottom of our grass here. So let's just let's see how this is going to look. horizontal lines across the screen here. Go. Yeah, I think that looks okay. So I think what I want to do now while I'm on that layer, let's click on our magic wand. Let's click on this bloom effect. Let's click on layer and let's drag our pencil across the screen and if you notice it gives that layer a glow effect giving it the illusion that it is actual lighting let's go to I don't want it to be too strong let's go let's do two percent I think that is plenty right there and I think I'm just gonna leave the settings alone there. You can play with the settings. Uh, let's do 25%. Let's do 25%. I think that's 26%. I think that's good. So I think what I want to do now is let's go back to our layers and let's add our next layer Do it. Well, I think we're going to want it actually on the very top here. So let's add a new layer right there. Now let's go back to our brush library. Let's click on airbrushes and let's click on this soft brush right here. And I think we want to turn our opacity down quite a bit. So I'm going to start it off at. 25% and let's see how that works and what I'm going to do is kind of paint lighting coming down from the top so let's just see here yeah it's very subtle Kind of going down right there. Yeah, I'm liking this. And you just give it as much as you think is necessary. Yeah, 
Yeah. I think that is... I think that is good right there. So if you're completed with your project and you want to save it, what you can do is you can export it as a JPEG by clicking on this wrench symbol and then you can click share Im or make sure you're under the share tab up here at the top here and then you can click on JPEG and then you can click on let's see let's just save image there and that's all there is to it now I can go to my uh, photos and there it is right there if you enjoy this digital art virtual program subscribe to our YouTube channel until next time thanks for watching